of these zeros here to give you a trailer breakdown of the Captain America Civil War trailer that just dropped last night. My first overall thoughts is it's pretty overwhelmingly awesome. Um, it's really hard to nitpick anything, so I'm going to just kind of break down um, scene by scene really quickly and then kind of give you uh, kind of my standout moments. Um, so it starts off um, with the post credit scene from Ant-Man. Um, and this is kind of interesting because it's the first time we've really seen a post credit scene outside of the movie that it premiered in. Um, we knew that the Russo brothers had said that this was a scene that was in Civil War, so I guess that kind of makes sense that they did that. Um, we see Bucky locked up uh, with Falcon and Cap talking to him, and basically a really smart way of getting Bucky uh, not remembering things, but proving that he remembers things uh, to Cap really, really quickly and out of the way, because I... I don't think anybody wanted to see a movie full of him just running around trying to find Bucky and making sure that he can trust him. Um, so from there, uh, it seems like from the voiceover that's happening, uh, that Bucky is the catalyst that sets everything off in Civil War. I mean, everything. this is a culmination of everything, all the events that have happened, but it seems like Bucky really is the guy... Um, who they're kind of pinning this on uh, and making things happen. So from there, we see Thunderbolt Ross from The Incredible Hulk, uh, which is cool to see him again. Um, that movie kind of seems like it's been brushed aside, and it's nice to see some characters back from that. Uh, and it looks like he's kind of spearheading this whole uh, operation to get the uh, Sokovia Accords, which we see a big fat stack of papers uh, dropped in front of Steve Rogers there. Um, he doesn't look too happy about it. Um, and then the next thing we see is a shot of Black Widow, who has yet another hairstyle, uh, in, uh, in a scene where she's warning Steve to kind of not fight this and just let let whatever's happening happen uh, and I don't think Steve is very happy about that. From there we see some really cool shots of Falcon. Um, he really hasn't been my favorite character. He's fine um, but each time we see him he, see, he grows on me more and more and more and after his uh, cameo in Ant-Man uh, I'm pretty excited to see him in this movie and it looks like He's gotten some upgrades and uh, looks pretty badass. The next scene is kind of the uh, what would normally be the money shot. Um, and it is Cap's team of guys uh, who is in this trailer. Hawkeye, Cap, Bucky, and Scarlet Witch, I believe. Um, I think that's... I feel like I'm missing somebody, but... Um, they're obviously going to be running towards Iron Man team. Iron Man's team. Um, we saw a little bit more of this scene at D23, um, but this is all we kind of see here. Until the very next shot is Black Panther. It's our first view of Black, Black Panther in the cinematic universe. And I got to say, he's awesome. He just... I feel like they nailed the costume. I've seen some people not so happy about his costume. Um kind of just roaming around on the internet, but everybody on the internet is going to be uh, upset about something, but I think he looks great. Um, at D23, we saw a little bit closer look at him, and we got to see his claws, um, and I think once people see that, they're going to be very, very, very excited about him. Um, from there, we get kind of some just like random footage and stuff like that. The tone of this movie really looks different from anything else we've seen. I, probably the closest uh, is The Winter Soldier, and obviously that would be because the Russo brothers who directed that film are also directing this film. Um, but we see Tony Stark in Iron Man suit um, laying down on a ground, like big field, and... Uh, 
Rhodes, whose war machine is down unconscious or dead or something in his arms, um, and the war machine suit looks screwed up to all hell, so I don't think he's going to die. I think that's kind of a ruse, um, but we'll see. Who Could happen. Next, we have a great line in this trailer that has Cap and Iron Man talking to each other. Um, and Cap says, I'm sorry, but he's my friend. And Iron Man goes, so was I. Um, and that's pretty powerful to, uh, to see. And there, it shows that there is a true um, conflict between these two. I know there's some people out there that are worried that this is going to be kind of sugar-coated. Um, and I think that line alone kind of takes those worries away. Then we come to the last shot of the trailer, <laughs> which is the money shot for me. Um, and it's this beautiful wide shot, and it has Bucky and Cap just beating the piss out of Iron Man. And they're throwing the um, Cap shield back and forth, and it is just, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, so that was that was kind of the the standout moment for me in the trailer. Also, um, going into what I kind of thought as a whole, really great trailer. I mean, <laughs> I didn't think I would be able to forget at all that there was a Star Wars movie coming out in a few weeks. And for a couple of minutes while I was watching this, I completely forgot that anything else was happening. Um, and yeah, this. It, it looks like the Russo brothers have done it again. Um, aside from Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America Winter Soldier is absolutely my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe film. Um, they look like they have nailed it once again with this character. And something I really, really liked about this is it really feels like a Captain America movie. Um, a lot of people were calling this Avengers 2.5 because there's so many characters in it. But it really seems like this is a Captain America-centric film. And um, I think that people are still going to be choosing sides between Tony and Cap. Um, but it looks like it's going to focus on Cap, and I'm really happy about that. Because the last movie, the, the scenes with Bucky and Cap are just so good. Um, so yeah, that's my analysis and breakdown of the trailer. Tell me what you thought of the trailer yourself in the comments below. Um, please like and subscribe to our channel. Um, we now have merch on our T Public site. Here's an Infinity Podcast shirt. And in, and listen to the Infinity Podcast. You can find it on our website, earthsmightyzeros.com, on iTunes, uh, and on our SoundCloud. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>